people who are living in the world can they possess that of heaven and can you witness to that of heaven in a straight language the lord jesus in the gospel of today first the gospel of john chapter 3 he says holding on to the things of this earth how can you understand the things of heaven i have come down from heaven to tell the people of this their lives is something greater than what you get in the world do you have the guts to look up and to possess and to transform among yourselves or do you want to still hold on to this earth and crying for heaven the challenge the lord put to nicodemus is very simple and straight forward do you want to invest your time to possess that of heaven and bring that of the heaven to this earth which is desperately looking for god and heaven or do you want to become like anybody anybody in the world be in the world struggle in the world and look up to heaven for help do you want to be a beggar all the days of your life or do you want to be the king choose what do you want what is your call don't come to me unless you are born from above you can't be my disciples you have to look up your call is to look up invest your time for all that is available from up and possess second stages possess all that up your heaven you don't rest yourself and don't allow your god to rest that's what the lord said in the prophet isaiah you don't rest and don't allow the lord to rest until you possess that of heaven because the world is desperately looking for the power of heaven the anointing of heaven whereas people in the world they are in the world they are struggling in the world they are looking up to the heaven to get help lord help us lord bless us lord anoint us are you a runner of the world or you are a beggar of the world you are a possessor of the spirit or you are the possessor of the flesh crying for the spirit you have to choose what is your life and what is your identity and what is your destiny what do you want to do with your life ordinary human beings like you and me who are challenging we have found something greater than the earth and we are selling all that we have and we throw it away at the feet of the disciples who represent god we want god we want to belong to god and in front of god these things are nothing for us same thing we read in first john chapter 2 verses 13 to 17 then you will understand an invitation the lord gives to the fathers to the young people to everyone what is the invitation there are three invitations number 1 it is given very clearly that you know god your whole focus is to know god verse 14 you know him from the beginning because you are strong by what the word of god lives in you only when you possess the word that is the first stage i write to you because you are becoming strong by the word of god that lives in you by the word lives in you you become strong prayer is basically to recognize who am i in the lord what is my call in the lord prayer is basically what are the treasures the lord has given to me what is the call of mine to bring heaven to the earth what are the treasures and special gifts god has endowed upon me which is need for this world 
but satan makes us that in the absence of knowing who am i in the lord what is my possession in the lord and what is the call to bring that possession to this broken world in that knowledge of absence of heaven what is left out is looking up to heaven that's why jesus says the one who comes down from heaven can take you to heaven in today's gospel he says very clearly look at him the one who has come down from heaven only he can take you up for what we read in uh, uh, revelation chapter 4 verse 1 he says you come up the lord tells john you come up you come up i will teach you what is in heaven and then you will write a beautiful book called revelation people in the world are happy with information and inspiration but people those who move to heaven they come down with a revelation information is different inspiration is different revelation is different i give an inspiring story you are so happy appa father gave a wonderful story wonderful insight to us over that will do nothing but that is born of heaven will continue to remain with us that which is born of the flesh will disappear the revelation will continue to affect you ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says that god in his richness he leads me and in verse philippians 2:13 he says the will of god the plan of god is revealed in my life if i am in touch with the heaven that's why jesus says one who came down from heaven will take you to heaven and that's what he has done to two people number one for david he says my heart has heard you say come and talk with me and my heart responds lord i am coming lord i am coming those who have understood this call of god they will say they will sing psalm 34 5 says delight in the lord rejoice in the lord and that is the joy of your heart that is the power of your heart taste and see that the lord is good blessed is those who surrender themselves to the lord so it's a unique call which god gives to nicodemus you have to be born again you have to your thoughts now you are in the world you are thinking like a man of the world but when you are possessed by the spirit you will be thinking as a man of the spirit you will be looking as the world as the man of the spirit you will have the courage of the spirit yes it's a unique call so you commit your life to the word yes that's why the bible say psalm 10 verse 4 the wicked has no room for god the wicked the people of the world have no room for god because they don't know god they don't know the power of god they don't know what god has kept for them if you don't move with the spirit you will be moved with the flesh there is no other way there is no anything in between either you move with the spirit otherwise you move with the flesh you may be a spiritual man spiritual man is different being in the world you can be a spiritual man crying for god seeking god and teaching about god all that even doing miracle of god my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.